Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this full face glam makeup look and it's paired with a red lip. You can honestly pair this with any lip but this uh, look is going to be featuring the chocolate, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So if you guys would like to see this look, please keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting off with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer and I'm just going to apply a thin layer over my lids with my fingers. This primer is literally like super glue for your eyelids so I do suggest it for people that have really really eye, uh, oily eyelids like mine. All the shadows I ever ever put on it before using this primer had always creased so I do really like this because it keeps everything in place for a really long time. But the key to this is that once you apply it you have to wait 60 seconds for the primer to dry before you put on your shadows. So as um, meanwhile as that dries, I'm going to just spoolie my eyebrows and then fill them in with the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. And then um, to set them into place, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara in Tinted Medium to Dark. Like I said, this look is going to be featuring the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I love this stuff. All the colors that are in them are so wearable and they do have a few like sparkly um, purple colors that you can do like a bright look with. But most of the colors are brown, neutral, cool, warm tones and they're something you can wear on a daily basis. So as my transition color, I'm going to be using Milk Chocolate just to put in my crease with a fluffy brush. And to deepen up the look, I'm going to use the same brush and go in with Semi Sweet and apply this more concentrated into my crease and this is going to create a more transition, a shadow color and the whole idea behind all of this is to not just pack on color. You have to work slowly and build up the color until you get your desired look because it's always easier to add than to take away. I'm then using a flat shadow brush to apply creme brulee onto my lids and you can use this wet with um, Fix Plus or any setting spray or even eye drops but I didn't use this wet only because I wanted to keep this look very soft because most of the focus was going to be on the red lips we were going to do. While working on the lids, I also applied a little bit of Champagne Truffle, which is a highlight shade. It's actually a shimmery highlight shade. More than shimmer, it has a sheen to it. So what I did was I applied this just to the center of the lid to make it more dimensional. And so that when the light catches um, my eyes, you can see the dimensions, you can see all the colors, and it just makes your eyes look brighter and more awake. Deepen up the look and make it more smoky. I then went in with triple fudge on a pencil brush right in the corner, right on the outer third of my lids. And this is just gonna make it more smoky, more dark, and deepen up the look a little bit. So take a look what you've done. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. Hey, now we got problems. And I don't think we can solve them. You made a really deep cut. Baby, now we got bad blood. Hey, did you have to do this? I was thinking. I then applied white chocolate underneath my brows as a brow highlight, and I love this color. It's a matte brow highlight. And I always suggest to you that if you have shimmer going on on your lids, don't apply any shimmer to your brow bone, only because it'll take away from your look. Salt in the wound like you're laughing right at me Oh, it's so sad to think about the good times Okay, so now I'm applying the liquid eyeliner from NYC 
and this is in black 887 and I'm just gonna give myself a wing I usually don't like wings on myself but the only reason I'm doing it now is because it just looks so appealing with a red lip you guys can skip this step if, step if you want you can apply dramatic lashes because I'm not gonna be applying lashes I went ahead and did eyeliner Think we'd be fine Still got scars on my back from your knife So don't think it's in the past These kind of wounds, they last and they last Now did you think it all through? All these things will catch up to you And time can heal with this wound So if you're coming my way, just don't Oh, it's so sad to think about the good times You and I I'm then using the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in 20 Sand just to apply underneath my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead, um, a little bit on my chin, and uh, around the redness on my nose. And the only reason I'm doing this first is because you guys will see I'm not going to be applying any cream foundation. I'm going to be using powder foundation just because I'm such a powder girl. I love my powder foundation, so I prefer that. So I'm going to first do all my creams and then apply the powders. So yes, I'm going to. Just blend this in with a tapered kabuki brush. Live like that, you live a ghost. If you live like that, blood runs cold. You know we used to be bad love, so take a look what you've done, baby. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. Now we got problems. I'm now switching over to a flat top kabuki only because I realized I needed some help blending because I did apply a little bit too much of concealer and I and the color was one shade too light as I wanted just as a highlight so just to um, uh, sheer it out I used a flat top kabuki and I'm just using this to spread the concealer wherever I need a little bit more coverage and then even though it looks like the concealer is too light for me it might be one shade too light but it honestly isn't it's just the light that's making it look like that but it does match me pretty well Once I'm finished with all my creams, we can now move on to the powders. So the first thing I want to do is I want to blur my skin and fill in all my pores. And I'm gonna, and to do that, I'm going to be using the Max Studio Fix in NC30. And what I do is I like to use a small dense brush to really, really pack on the powder wherever I have a lot of pores because using powder foundation is literally like a uh, live Photoshop. It really blurs your skin. It makes you look so flawless. So I'm just going to do this with a small shader brush first and then I'm going to move on to a bigger fluffy brush to put all over my face where I didn't apply any foundation or concealer. bit of less coverage where there isn't that many scars or anything wherever I didn't put any product I'm using a big fluffy brush and applying that powder foundation I'm then gonna go in with milk chocolate on a pencil brush and just smoke this underneath my eye um, underneath my lash line I mean and then I'm gonna use a short cheater brush and go in with semi sweet to more densely pack this right underneath my lash line so it creates more of a gradient This step is finally going to bring the look together and make you look more 
bronzy and glowy and just way more dimensional so I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I'm using the NARS ITA brush just to lay out where I'm going to be um, where I want to put my bronzer and where I would like to contour and then I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush and pick up the warmest shade which is going to act as my bronzer and I'm going to blend that contour line very very well I'm going to bring this all the way towards my um, towards the apples of my cheeks only because I'm not going to go in with blush and this will kind of act as my blush and I want to warm up the entire um, perimeter of the face so I'm going to use this as a complete bronzer and I'm going to put it in all the places I would like to contour including the apples of my cheeks the key to it is just blend 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 until you get the desired look you guys want Um, shader brush the short shadow shader brush oh wow what a tongue twister but I'm gonna use that same brush and go in with the contour shades just to contour my nose so I'm just gonna draw two parallel lines on the sides of my nose the nose where I want to um, slim it down and I'm gonna just blend it with my two middle fingers so I'm gonna take my fingers and just blend downwards I'm not gonna blend towards the center of my nose I'm gonna be pulling the 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 shadow shades towards the towards my nostrils and then once I uh, blend enough I'm going to take a little bit of highlight and just run that down the center of my nose and just blend away now I'm just using a Revlon curler to curl my lashes you guys can go in with dramatic false lashes which will suit this look very well but I just went in with um, mascara and the one I'm using is from Estee Lauder it's called the Sumptuous Infinite Daring Length and Volume Mascara and this mascara is great for people that like separated long lashes it doesn't give you any clumps I don't know if it makes it very it gives it it's more separating than it is lengthening so if you guys like that this is a great mascara Lastly, I'm going to line my lips with this Nabi pencil. Okay, so there's a story behind this. On Amazon, you get like 58 shades of these Nabi lip liner pencils for like 30 bucks, which is such a steal. And these lip liners are great. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just wooden pencils and they're honestly great. They're shipped from L.A., a California and you get literally like 54 or 58 for like 30 bucks so I'm just using that to lip uh, to line my lips and then I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip, red lipstick which is the elf um, moisturizer moisturizing lipstick and red carpet ed01 and I love this red lipstick honestly it's what I've tried so many red lipsticks but they always dry and make my lips crack and this one is so moisturizing and it stays on all day so this is a great 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 um, um, red lipstick and it's just like maybe three dollars so it's totally worth the price so this is the finished look you guys I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed it um, if you guys have any comments please leave them down below and leave requests for what you guys would like to see next and any ways I can improve on my videos thank you so much for watching I love you guys I hope to see you next time bye